This video is provided for informational purposes only. The contents of this video cannot substitute for proper training under and implementation of industry standards applicable to servicing and testing of electrical equipment. You must carefully review and follow OSHA, NFPA, and other regulatory requirements, equipment manufacturer's instructions, and your company's safety procedures when conducting any testing or servicing of electrical equipment. The demonstrations in this presentation were performed by trained professionals in a controlled environment. Do not attempt to induce an arc fault, arc flash, or any other condition that could potentially damage electrical test tools or equipment, or otherwise create any increased risk of personal injury. Review the NFPA 70E and your company's work rules to ensure you are following the guidelines relevant to your work situation. When you arrive at the job site, look over your work environment. Where will you mount your meter and place your other equipment? Be sure to identify a clear escape route you can use in case of an emergency. Do you have enough clearance to gain access to the equipment in question and to work comfortably? Are environmental hazards present, such as tree branches, ice, height restrictions, or water? Do you have enough light and ventilation? Make sure you have another qualified person to assist you who also understands electrical safety. It's a best practice to work with another qualified person on high energy circuits. Finally, make sure someone else knows where you're working. While you can't totally eliminate the dangers of working with electricity, with careful planning and applying what you've learned here today, you can reduce them. On behalf of everyone at Fluke Corporation, Thank you for watching.